Romaine and we're here in lovely Ibiza at my house and this is How to DJ. I'm going to be teaching you on how to enter the scene and I'm also going to show you the basics of mixing. Hey, I was very lucky at the age of 18 to have a friend that showed me the basics of mixing. After that, I think I sat in a room for about three months and practiced my heart out because I wanted to make it as a DJ. After giving out my mixtapes in Australia, I had a career there for about five years and then I discovered Ibiza. Once I discovered this place and of course the club where I play now, Pasha, I was hooked and had to come over here. Now I play as a resident for Pasha Ibiza. I get to travel around the world. I've got a radio show in the UK and in France, and I'm living the dream. Today we're learning on the Pioneer City J400s because of their ease of use, awesome functionality and similarity to the pro grade CDJ 1000s that are used in the best clubs across the world. These CDJs can play normal audio CDs, MP3 CDs and also music from a memory stick. They've also got some sweet effects and queuing and looping functionality but we'll get more into that later. You can also use these CDJs to play vinyl emulation software such as Serato, DJS and Track to Scratch. But today we're just going to be using normal audio CDs. To mix the audio from the CDJs, we're using the Pioneer DJM 400. This mixer is perfect to get started because of its simplicity, price and feature set, which boasts effects from the daddy of them all, the DJM 800. All mixers follow the same basic principle, and that is to allow you to mix two tracks simultaneously, cue up the next record, and adjust the master volume. This is all you actually need. The other stuff just helps to make your mixing smoother and manipulate the music on the fly. It's also good to get a mixer with EQ controls, bass, mid, and treble, because in the long run, this will make your mixing smoother. We'll get mixing in a minute, but let's make sure everything's set up right. Make sure your CDJ is plugged in with audio and power. You can find all the instructions in your manual. Also that your mixer is powered up and connected to your amp and speakers. Now I'm actually using powered monitor speakers with an inbuilt amp, but you can also use your hi-fi. So let's get stuck in. Now before I demonstrate the key principle of mixing, which is beat matching, I want to demonstrate mixing without it. Okay, so I'm going to start this track here. Now I'm going to start a second track, which I haven't got beat matched. Doesn't sound so good, hey? A little bit messy. And can you believe that many DJs have got away with mixing like that for years? We need more control, so let's start at the very beginning. Let's get our headphones on and see what track we're gonna put on next. Notice how I'm wearing one ear on and one ear off. This is so I can hear the track that I'm bringing in, in this ear and I can hear the master output from my monitor in the other ear. It's also good to note that you can change <laughs> and use whatever variation feels good for you. What we're listening out for in this ear is the first beat of the new track. Basically we're hunting for the first kick drum. So now we need to begin to understand the basic principles of beat mixing. All electronic music is based around the same structure, which is beats, bars, and phrases. This is very important to understand when you first start DJing. So I'm gonna play a track and talk you through it on the fly. Okay, in every bar we've got four beats. One, two, three, four. And in every phrase we have eight bars of four beats. I will count you through it now. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Did you hear something change then? A snare came in. This is at the end of a phrase. Basically, the way dance music is produced, something will generally happen at the end of every phrase, which is, when I first started learning, 32 beats. Also, you may notice when you're in a club that something changes on 64 beats, which is two phrases. But 
when you're out, have a listen because you may have been dancing before and predicted something was going to happen in the music, say like the beat kicking in after a break or a vocal coming in. This is the way dance music is produced. So when you're out, have a listen and see what you can hear.